1.2 million electric vehicles were sold in 2023. That's according to Cox Automotive, but all those EV drivers may have some trouble with the drop in temperatures. Cold weather is not great for any vehicle, but could be especially bad for EVs. WFXR's Anna McDougal spoke with AAA and an auto shop in Lynchburg about this. Anna, what did you learn from them? Yeah, Kathleen. Well, with any car, the cold can impact whether or not your car will start. But with an electric vehicle, the cold not only impacts whether or not your car will start, but also how far you can even drive it. Just like your cell phone seems to die faster in extreme temperatures, AAA says when it's very hot or very cold, like it has been recently, EV batteries tend to run short too. Just driving it in 20 degree weather, they saw a 12% decrease of in that in that driving range. And when driving in that same 20 degree weather with the heat or AC on in your EV, researchers saw a 41% drop in driving range. So what that means is instead of getting 100 miles out of a charge, they would probably get something closer to about 59 miles. To avoid this, auto experts say it's best to try to not let the battery get cold in the first place. Keep it plugged in and keep that battery warm because if it's too cold, it's not going to crank. She adds that in all cars, damaged, old or not well maintained batteries can cause problems in cold weather. The best way to avoid this, she says, is regular maintenance. But in a pinch, you can also check on your batteries at home. Open your hood, look at your battery terminals. If there's a lot of acidic stuff, you know, a lot of stuff around it, take your wire brush and some baking soda and brush and clean it. Make sure you have a good connection. In addition to your batteries, experts say you need to be checking on things like antifreeze, belts, hoses, and fluids to make sure your car is equipped to get through the winter months. Now with any car, of course, things can still happen. So experts say it's best to just be prepared no matter what kind of car you drive. So they're saying keep things like clothes and blankets as well as extra food and water in your car in case of an emergency situation. Live in Lynchburg, Anna McDougal, WFXR News.